Gentlelady yields back. I now recognize myself for five minutes to strike the last word. And I just want to say the central issue of this impeachment is the corruption of our institutions that safeguard democracy by this president. Those are two basic protections we have for our democracy. Free and fair elections, and the president, in Article 1, is charged with trying to subvert the free and fair elections by extorting a foreign power into interfering in that elections to give him help in his campaign. We cannot tolerate a president subverting the fairness and integrity of our elections. The second major safeguard of our liberties, designed by the framers of the Constitution, is the separation of powers. That power is not united in one dictator, but is spread out through the executive, the pre represented by the president, the Congress, and the judiciary. The second article of impeachment charges that the president sought and seeks to destroy the power of Congress. Congress may be unpopular, and maybe we should be reelected, or maybe we shouldn't be reelected. That's a question for the voters. But the institutional power of Congress to, to safeguard our liberties by providing a check and a balance on the executive is absolutely crucial to the constitutional scheme to protect our liberties. Central to that is the ability to investigate the actions of the executive branch, to see what's going on, and to hold the executive, the president, or people working for him accountable. The second article of impeachment says that the president sought to destroy that by categorically withholding all information from an impeachment inquiry. Now, that is different from contesting uh, some subpoenas on the basis of privilege. Some may be contestable, some may not be but a categorical withholding of information. We will, we will prohibit anybody in the executive branch from complying with any congressional subpoena, no matter how justified. We will make sure that nobody in the executive branch gives any document to Congress with respect to this inquiry. It is a subversion of the congressional power to keep the executive in check. So whether you think Congress is behaving well or badly, whether it's popular or unpopular, if you want a dictator, then you subvert the ability of Congress to hold the accountable to hold the executive in check. What is central here is do we want a dictator? No matter how popular he may be, no matter how good or bad the results of his policies may be, no president is supposed to be a dictator in the United States. When I hear colleagues of mine arguing that, co that Congress is unpopular and therefore obstruction of Congress is a good thing, this shows terrible ignorance or a lack of care for our institutions, for our democracy, for our form of government, and for our liberties. I, for one, will protect our liberties, will do everything I can to protect our liberties, our democracy, our free and fair elections, and the separation of powers that says Congress and the President and the judiciary check each other, and no, nobody can be a dictator. I yield back. Mr. Chairman. And I, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Mr. No. Mr. I now recognize Mr. Johnson. For what purpose?